Yes, it is cold outside. It's the end of December and we've only had a handful of days that have been above freezing since November 1st. And we've had some nights that have been down like seven degrees. And so I thought it'd be a good idea to give you an update on how the greenhouse is performing, how the systems are working, and share with you some of the things we've learned. When it started to get cold outside in the first part of November, uh, we noticed that when we'd come in, we had so much condensation in here, it was like it was raining. And that's just from it not having enough airflow. So we changed the fan on the climate battery, put a bigger one in, and we closed up the end of the earth tube and started to use that to circulate the inside air. Now that air coming out of both those systems is around 50 degrees. And even though it's been down mostly in the teens through November all the way up until now, uh, we've been able to keep the greenhouse from falling below 38 degrees. Well, what that means to me is that uh, if I wanted to put supplemental heating here uh, to grow more plants, I would have to uh, heat it from 38 on up to about 70 or so to, to keep the, the plants healthy. The other thing I would have to do, of course, is to add more supplemental light. Now you can see this light here above me. It's not enough light to really help a whole lot. So uh, those kind of decisions are gonna have to be made on dollars and cents, whether or not it's worth the extra money to have that extra little bit of food. Of course, we're still raising things like broccoli, and we have uh, some cauliflower, and we can still pull the carrots out of the ground, and some beets, and we have some uh, Swiss chard. And of course, the tomatoes, they, they've just been suffering a slow death through November. But as you can see, these plants are, are really in bad shape, and we're just gonna go ahead and pull them now. So after I got all the old plants taken out, I had to climb up the ladder and take out the rams out of the self-closing vents and hook up an air compressor and blow out all of the irrigation lines. We have two self-watering raised beds and I didn't want those to freeze, so I drained those. One of the most helpful things we added this year were these barrels of water. They've proven to work really well as a heat sink. It's the second week in March, and we've barely had a handful of days above freezing since November. And you can see for March, we have a lot of snow and it's really cold. Right now, it's about 14 below, and uh, it's up about 40 in the greenhouse. The sun's been shining, but it's a cold one. So we should take a look and see what the greenhouse has been doing this second winter. All right, I gotta dig myself in. I was able to put some biochar inoculated compost in these growing boxes so we're ready for that when uh, it gets warm enough to put the starts in there. The scallions are still growing and we have some Swiss chard and kale and beet tops and this bok choy, although it's looking pretty sad today, as soon as it gets warm enough in here, it'll perk right back up again. And uh, then we can hook up the irrigation again and get it going. Wow, what a difference a couple of weeks have made. It's now the end of March. In fact, this is the 31st. And as you can see, the snow is almost gone. And we're getting a lot more sun and warmer days. It's been up into the high 40s now. Still freezing at night, but uh, in the greenhouse, it doesn't freeze, of course. It stays about uh, 50 degrees in there at night. And I've had to open the vents uh, on the top 
because it was getting 80, 90 degrees in there and I needed that ventilation in there so I didn't cook everything. We've got all of our starts going, uh, first round of them anyway, and they're all coming up and doing well. So in conclusion, the second winter in the greenhouse was a success. Of course, next year I'll be growing more in here now that I know what it'll do. And I don't think it'll cost a whole lot of money to put some lights in here and pay for some supplemental heat. Uh, we really are serious about growing our own food, uh, glyphosate, pesticide-free food that will be healthy for us. Uh, even though we eat just about totally organic out of the store when we buy there, it's still not something that we can really put our thumb on and say it's really that healthy. We like to know where our food comes from. God gave us this one body and we need to take care of it. We need to put the right kind of fuel in it so it'll last a long time and treat us good. And I feel healthy and life is good. Lord bless and we'll catch you next time.